Welcome to another tip of the week and today I'm going to talk about IDs. Okay, so what's an ID? An integrated development environment. An integrated development environment is a step up from a text editor. I'm talking here mainly to people who are working with PHP, but this works for all languages. And what an ID is going to do is see your project as a whole, uh, your entire folder of your project, and analyze your project as a whole, helping you way more than a text editor that only sees that one document. And, and letting you refactor easily, debug easily, uh, let you con lets you connect straight to the prompt command or to the terminal from the ID or to the database from the ID, letting you have only one software open and only one window open instead of several windows. So this lets you uh, manage complex projects easier. So I'm going to show you here PHP Storm. For instance, I have a PHP Storm open. And you see here, I have this index file that has this include of to do functions and they're in the different folders. Index is here, the functions is here. But in the functions file, I used this kind of comments uh, with this syntax. So when I come here to my index page and I start writing display info the, that is one uh, uh, function I made, you can see here already appears info where already helps me out. If I place my mouse on top of this, this gives me the documentation I made. Uh, I have my database connected. So here I can manage my database from PHP storm. I have here my to do's. So this is another kind of comment that you write like this to do column and as the tasks you need to do. And I come here to see my to do's. And, and I can remember everything I needed. I have the terminal where I can access my command prompt or my terminal if I'm on a Mac directly from here. So I don't have to exchange softwares every time. I don't have to have several windows open. I have Eclipse here open that's similar. You see I have display info again. And once again, you see the, the, the documentation. You see my to-dos down here. But for instance, if I come here on my Atom, and I start writing this. I have the exact same document open on all of them. Display nothing. Nothing happens because Atom only sees this one document. So you see that life starts being easier with an IDE when you have a complex web application, for instance. And IDEs aren't just for PHP, they're for many others. So I'm going to show you the ones I like, but there are many others, and I suggest you uh, check them out, you Google them and you try them because this is very much a personal preference, okay? And I like PHP Storm for working with PHP because PHP Storm from JetBrains is made thought for PHP developers, so has a good support for the languages PHP developers usually use, like, of course, PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, and the databases. They also have a good support for the PHP frameworks and even for, for several JavaScript frameworks. So that's why I like them. You can, then PHP Storm is not cheap, but they have a plan for just one IDE or if you want all the JetBrains IDEs, they also have a different pl plan for that. Then you have Eclipse, which is really good too. And Eclipse together with Eclipse PHP development tools makes them Eclipse really good for PHP. And if you already have Eclipse, you can download the, the PHP development tools and install on your already uh, Eclipse that you already have. If not, when you're installing the wizard, you can choose the specific one you want and PHP development tools is one of them. There's NetBeans, okay? Uh, Eclipse and NetBeans are, you can download and use them for free, but you can also uh, support by donating something. And if you like a free uh, IDE, it's nice if you can to support them with a donation. There's Komodo IDE from Active State. What I like of Komodo is that Komodo is connected to DevDocs.io, so you have access to documentation from the IDE for the languages. So that's great. And you have Aptana Studio. Okay. So those are the IDEs I've tried and I really liked. There are many other Visual Studio and several others, for instance. And like I said, I was talking mainly to people who are working with PHP. 
And I talked about documentation, how Komodo did nice is about documentation. If you're working with PHP, if you're learning PHP, the doc PHP documentation is going to be very important. So, and php.net is the place you go for documentation. You come here in documentation in php.net and you have documentation in several languages. I have the one in Portuguese open, but you can come up here and choose your language. And here is the main PHP reference you're going to use. I mean, you're going to still use the others, you know, from when other languages like Stack Overflow and stuff like that. But for PHP, this is going to be the main one. And if you're working with PHP, there's a big chance you're working with a database most probably either MySQL or MariaDB, which is are very compatible one with the others. So they're both used a lot. And again, documentation for both of them can be found on the MySQL page and on the MariaDB page. And they are very important. Always refer to the documentation, okay? And this was the tip. I hope, hope I helped again. And if you liked, of course, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out my courses in the description and I'll see you next week.